Hey everyone, welcome to episode... Uh, sorry, episode 16. I cannot remember what episode I was on. So, apparently this does not work like I thought it did. Apparently I need something else, and add as of what else it is, I have no effing clue. I think maybe I just need the ME drive, which is probably the cheapest thing to make, which is surprisingly... which is just surprising. So, let's hope we just need the ME drive. I think we need three things attached to this thing, but there's no good tutorials that don't take two hours to watch. So, I'm going to make up some more of those, um, this, this, the, 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 there we go. Alrighty, make it again, uh, ME, con ME drive, maybe we even need an ME control thing. What, am I, I'm not out of silicon, not out of silicon, oh my god, my god. There we go. Alright, now I can just set this to get smelted up. So, a whole another episode of just me in the same exact building doing the same exact thing. And these can probably get turned off right now. Yeah, that's fine. They can just be turned off. Alright, so now that's done. I just need a chest. And how many chests do I have? In my, I have zero. Yeah, it's supposed to be... Oh, it's a simple mod, but... No. It's complicated piece of crap. Alright, so let's see if the ME drives what we need. We're probably gonna want to set it up into a more if I do decide to build that whole big contraption, I'll probably build it right down here somewhere where everything can be accessed to it. Alright, so let's see. Um bop, 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 bop. get me up, get me up. I probably should have gone and done some more research on this mod. But I thought that I understood that it was kind of like, oh, you can have a sort of stage, not a, you need to create the whole gigantic big piece of machine. So that thing is not what I want to do. So let me just take that out. And let's just put it in there. But, I don't know, maybe somebody can help me out with this. It's definitely something I find to be very complicated. And Butterscotch, will you please lay down? Alright, so we do see something's in there, so... Alright, hang on, let me just let my dog out. So I think hope... So my hope is that I can just do this with that chest. I can just grab that chest and... I don't know what my plan is anymore. I want to still have trees go there. I want to still have like a buffering system, but... Applied in, applied in logistics is just something I... Maybe just this is very complicated and really hard to do like a, just throwing it out like buildcraft does that's what i bet that's what i like about buildcraft i wish it did it with liquids but it does not so let's just put this chest right here i do not know if these if i need a buffer i think i need do need a bus all right so i'm going to go do some more research to see what else i need to grab up because this is really starting to get annoying all right so be back in a little bit I so got this all working out and I figured out some of the stuff that I have to do in order to get some stuff. So we're going to need four of these. Okay. And we're going to go need to go get some diamonds. Da -da 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 -da. <coughs> Good lord, my throat's a little crazy today. Alright, so grab out some diamonds cause we, and some more. I think I have plenty of silicon in my inventory. Because we're going to need to craft one of these annoying, annoying little things. Not my favorite things to craft. Okay, I thought it just got a crash. Alright, so the control thing is apparently, from what I understand, controls everything. Hence the name control, but it also requires power. Was not anticipating power. I did not know it even needed power, to be quite honest. Okay, so we're gonna need that. Oh, and I'm missing redstone. I meant iron. Okay, so recipe. Ah, uh, my bad. Okay, so now we have the control. So I want to, oh wait, let me get some silver and some glass. I should have some glass with me. I just need some silver, because they're gonna make some glass fiber cablings. All right, the, and also I do have advanced solar panels installed on here. So I probably will end up creating some solar panels to help out with the, with sending everything to everywhere it needs to go. Okay, but 23 should be enough because I want to build it more, um, 
more or less right around, um, I want to build it kind of around this area, at least that's where my plan was, but, um, with all the cabling it would be just insane to try to do that. Alright, so I'm thinking, we'll put it right here. I'm not going to make it flush with the wall because I'm just lazy today. Okay. Alright, and get rid of this, bring this down. Alright, so now we have power. Oh, that's not what I meant to grab. So, let's just test this out. Alright, and then we just put the chest right here. Get rid of that stinging torch, put the chest right here. Alright, put in the thing of bobber. Oh, and now it's able to work. Alright, but what if it's um, not connected? Good lord, this thing takes forever to break. Oop. Right, that lava's right there. Um, so it needs power. So that's the only thing. It, it just needs power, really. Okay. Well, that was bullcrap that it took me that long to figure that out. Alright. So what we can do is we actually can make a... Hang on a minute. Um, something is up with this. I have to leave... See? Gen... I don't know what's up with this, what's up with any eye at all, but it's like I've got to scroll through to get generator. Alright, so, what we want, I want, I'm thinking about, oh wait, here, there it is. Using a bio generator. Now I think bio generators can use, um, although let's see if we can use a, if it can be used with build crop power. Or if it's just IC2 power. It would be better for me if it was build crop power, because a lot of my technological advancements are build craft power. Alright, so, um, let me just, how much redstone wiring, how much alloy wiring do I have? I have none, so. Alrighty, so we'll just pop it on right here. Okay, so, build craft power will work with this. Excellent, why is this not on? Oh, 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 jeez, 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 these are supposed to stay off for a while. These are all supposed to stay off. These don't have coolant because I kind of forgot to bring back their coolant. Because it's all disconnected. As you can see, there's no water, there's no nothing. But, so build crop power does work. That is great news, so we're going to probably dig out underneath of it. Because what I'm planning on doing is putting it right here. Now, if I'm, what I'm hoping is I can use this wiring with no, buildcraft it will not work with. Okay, so, um, buildcraft pipes do not work with those pipes. So, bad news, but good news is that I can still use this to create sort of an auto sorting system. Uh, so, I can actually turn this area over here into an auto sorting system, but I don't know. I don't like how it all works. I don't like that it's sort of, it's a one. You can use it with buildcraft power, you can use it with IC2 power, but it won't work with only it, it will only work with its pipes nothing else and to me that's just annoying I mean I want it to work with other stuff because as I don't know if it can spit out its stuff but I don't know that's another problem for another day it'll probably just help me keep control of my I don't know so it's just an annoyance that people this that they decide that oh well we're gonna make this only work with its with just this so anybody who doesn't want it to work with can just work off annoying. So I also need to get some more redstone energy conduits so I'm going to need hardened glass and electrum and that the stupid noise of lag is going to tick me off. Okay. Oh and also I will be expanding my own. Okay F the noise. Done with the noise. So I will be expanding this out this building out here because we're going to need some more room for all the other stuff probably even going to have to move this tank so I'm not a big, I don't really do not want to move the tank but a lot of this stuff's just going to stay in the same place and use, turn off turn off, no don't do that turn off
There you go. Get that to turn off. Because and we're also gonna need to create a wheat farm, which I'm gonna do off camera. But um it's just wheat does not is not the the best type to use, but it's the only one we can use. Um wheat it's sort of the trees produced don't only have a so much chance of producing saplings and we need all the wheat we can we need everything we can get so wheat in the long run wheat will be a better a source for us right now I do not know about anything else but that's all I know of and so this is still gonna say the same we're just gonna add a chest on probably we're just gonna probably swap this one chest out for um the other one okay so I'm gonna go get ready to expand this and hopefully the lag will st oh wait I'm transferring files to a DVD of course it's not the lags not gonna subside for a while but I'm also gonna be doing tesseracts power tesseracts of course because we're gonna start getting into some boilers at least that's my plan I wanna get into some boilers because that way I can then completely and utterly destroy this system and we're also, I've decided to use the boilers as, we'll use them to power everything. So, not necessarily everything, I still like to do my own little power system over here. So, my plan is to get a bigger quarry going. Or, I don't know what my plan is. But I do want to get into the, them. Because, well, I mean, I have so many different, I mean... Those will work, but, um, so, also, I forgot if I didn't mention this. So, I will be using fuel in these, no longer, um, bio, no longer the other source, because of one big reason. This does not produce as much energy as I was hoping it would produce. Alright, so, it's actually producing much less energy than I thought, and if we go over here and I type in, here we go, biomat, um, ethanol, in a liquid, in a Oh, biogenerate. You can actually use it with the biogenerate. Awesome. So, it uh, it produces less energy in a combustion engine, but it still produces, I think, this in, no, yeah, biogas, uh, but it produces um 32k heat in a liquid fuel firebox. But, let me just try to find, um, lava can. I'm trying to just to find fuel. Alright, so let's just type in fuel, because I know that'll get me what I need. See what I mean by it's just being really goofy? Okay, so, oh, that's creosote. I want a, here we go, fuel bucket. It will produce 92k heat, but still, I like the other one better. I like to use, I'll use this for my one tank, my firebox. So I'm going to start expanding this out and I made sure that I will not tear anything out as I believe I would have. So I'm going to basically rip this all apart. Hang on a minute. So I'm going to rip all this apart. I'm just putting these down just to get rid of the water source blocks. Okay, so that's just, that's just what I'm doing right now. Oh, that created its own water source block. Cool. So I am hoping that I will be able to expand this out far enough because I'm just having, uh, because this is also going to be my, um, where I deal with all my bees and all that good stuff. And you need a lot of room to deal with bees. So, and I am also, so bees are just one of those things that I want to get started on because I know I can get oil bees. And, well, I want to have oil bees. So I do not need to be dependent on finding more and more fuel, more and more oil sources because it's, they're not, it's not fun to find. Alright, so I'm going to expand this out. I'll be back in a little bit. And I'll probably also have a couple more, and I'll probably have another farm ready to go. And then we're also going to be automating this. I believe I already showed how I can automate those so when the inventory is detected as full. And if I didn't, I do apologize. I um, did that yesterday when I was at my grandparents' house. Then I didn't have internet, I didn't want to record because everybody was screaming. So now when these inventor inventories are full, these will emit signals and um, you have to have a gate, a higher tier gate in order for this to work. I think this gate's actually a gold gate I have down here. Yeah, this is a gold gate because it will register blue signals. Yeah, gold and gate. This is just an iron gate because of the fact that it will 
sig it will read um what well, it'll read different wire signals so they're really useful and so that way I don't need to make, run like two different ones along the way that's what I came up with for that so probably gonna go right about maybe right here I like I don't think right here would be a good one to go with all right and I'm gonna need to start getting some hummus production some sort of way for hummus to be produced um like snow bogger to be produced because um I am running out of it constantly I have there's no auto way to craft it actually I'm gonna start working with build craft I think build yeah build craft does have an auto crafting table there you go so here we go auto crafting table so I think that although what's this now advanced auto crafting table so I'll probably make one of those advanced auto crafting tables and see how they work and hopefully we'll also lays I'm just there's a lot of stuff I gotta do because soon those engines I don't think they'll be able to work properly so I'm gonna need to set up a test rack to transport fuel from there so yes I'm going the test rack way because I decided to so I'm gonna need a way to transport fuel over gonna need to get more engines which means I'm gonna have to rip out that engine I'm gonna have to rip out those engines again so I have a lot of work to do see you guys in a little bit hey guys welcome back okay so sorry for just getting right into it um I need to get some of my lasers how many have you made just yet okay I need one more one more come on come on give me one more give me one more and forever we need to get just like a whole bunch of these lasers just together and uh all right that's good okay so you may be asking why we're using these well these are kind of like since i do not have red power 2 on here and i cannot make wiring easy for me i'm doing this set so what will this this will basically um you put an engine on top of first what we're going to do is we're going to cover these up oh i forgot when i shift click it will detach the gate so you don't need to break everything okay so facades that's how they work and i'm just doing this ahead of time so that way i don't have to try to remaneuver them around the engines whoops oh i'll place that in the wrong spot really can't worry about that right now alrighty then we just will attach the engines Oop, um. Easy way to refine it. Nope. That was not supposed to go there. Oh, and something really cool I discovered. If you have this and then you have some sort of like this on your hotbar, it will place it for you. So you don't need to worry about it. Um, give me a second while I re I paste this one down and I'll be right back. I just have to talk to somebody. Okay guys, so welcome back and we have been a little bit busy. I have got this all set up now. Very weird uh, way of wiring everything up, but it works. I mean, liquid duct. I have plenty of liquid ducts and plenty of other stuff, so I didn't really see the purpose of. Oh, and um, for this whole function to work, I was telling you guys about, it has to be on um the right side of it. And I am going to get really sick and tired of my mouse double clicking. Forget me while I rage against my mouse. I think it's just the spring has to be reconnected or just a new spring has to go on and I don't know. Every mouse I get is different from the last one so I get really annoyed. See what I mean? See? Like nothing can work right. But this is our setup and now all I have to do is, oh man I never actually really thought about it. So. I'm probably going to wire it into this wall right here. Probably right here. So we should hit... Yep, there it is. Alright, so we're going to have to go one lower than that. So what we're doing here is we are wiring up our... Boo! Yeah. There you go. Uh... Just because I'm very even, I'm a very even person. Not even as in fair, or even as in another type of even. But I'm just even as in. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, I can't do that. Yay. 
Alright. Now the only thing is that I have to then put the blue the red wire connected to it. So I've got to go one wire. And this is um Buildcraft's way of now this is kind of an old version. Um the the whole everything of this was established back during the one point two point five era, back when Minecraft was stable for like a very long time and then they decided, Oh wait, we're gonna update and we're not gonna stop updating. So I know that's just been a lot of people's complaints, some um, mainly me complaining to them about this, but mm -hmm. all right. So we're just gonna do this just because I am very nope. I went to, but um. So it's kind of like its way of keeping stuff from blowing up, um, keeping just everybody happy. It's what I call this. It's the happy. It's the happy way. Alright, and then right here. Alright, so then we're just going to still need some facades, and I have plenty of facades right here. Let's see if I can do it with this. Nope. Alright, okay, so facade. Wait, we haven't actually finished wiring everything up. Where'd it go? Where'd my facade? Oh, there it is. Yay. And for some reason, I'm running with a lot more smoother frame rate when I have um, drop items set to normal. I don't know what's with that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a gate on, and I do not know why I do not have any gates with in my inventory. Odd. Okay, put this right there. Yay. Alright, give me a second while I go order while I go order a gate. Whoa, that was a serious lag spike. Um... I think, oh wait, I'll just use this one. It's not very color matchy matchy, and it annoys me, but I'll use it. I I should have a lever somewhere. Down, down, down. In a burning ring of fire. Alright, when it detects a redstone signal, it will emit the wire signal. And I gotta get down there now. Alright. Here we go. Alright. So, facade. And then. Oh, wait. Now, let's just jump down here. Let's just jump down over here. Uh, try to jump down. Oh, oopsie. Now we can just go through and see which ones are not blinking. There you go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set this thing to. When redstone signal is on, emit a redstone signal. Ah, but Lord. Alright. Emit a redstone signal. So we're just gonna I'm that's how I'm just gonna wire all this up and do 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 Okay, so I'm back, sorry about that. Um just talking to my mom. Um, so, now I've emitted all these, so when a signal is applied, it will then emit a redstone signal, which then will trigger the engine. So that's my sort of way, and, whoa. It's here just, wow. This is just getting on my nerves. Very good. Finally, it didn't, trip, it didn't double click. So now all we have to do is bring fuel over to here, and as you can see now, maybe it's just because my sensitivity is not back up to 60, well, not that much, that much. Woo, that's really fast. I always say 64 because it's just a happy medium for me, but I'm just going to slowly bring myself back up to 64 sensitivity. Okay. Some mouses you just do 100, some you don't. But I really got to start doing an automation of this, because this is starting to get really, 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 really on my nerves. And, um, I, oh yes, I can use, um, Buildcraft tanks. I can use, um, Buildcraft auto-crafting tables. They work actually quite well. Oh, we need to find a, a way to emit a redstone signal here, and I have just the way. Whoa. My way did not fall involve me falling down there. See what I mean by annoying. Okay, put you right here. 
so that way they will act for both. And now, this has. So now all I have to do is make a control thingy right here, or right there, right there, um, and then have the hatch just go. We're gonna probably meet up. Oh, so, hmm. Um, it would be much easier if I just move the hatch over here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Buckets go away. You come back, you go there. There you go. So now I can just go right it straight. Uh, uh huh. That's going to be in the way too. And it's also one off. That whole thing is one over. Alright, we'll just deal with it. I'll probably end up making it go. meeting up somewhere along here. But this is probably going to have to be routed back up, probably um, right after this it goes over one. Let's just see how this work. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to like that. I'm not a big fan of when it does that. Okay. Now we're probably going to have to make some green wiring. Because this whole thing is designed for... Um, so it doesn't overload. But I probably won't need to get red just exactly on that just yet. And oh, that's going to even annoy me even worse. Alright, um. Think right about. Oh, yeah, right about here we can. Right, boop, boop, boop. And it connects to the tank. This is just so annoying. I probably should have just left it down there and duh. Alright, so then I bring it down. Actually, yes, wait, nope, one more. Probably would have been just easier to run this in the wall. But I'm me, and everybody knows me. I'm slightly insane. Although I do think that sometimes being insane is a choice or a preference. So that is my crazy, crazy contraption of a wiring. <laughs> but the nice thing about this is it's kind of like um, Red Power 2 bundle cabling. So you do have multiple different things. You have four total. So you don't have a lot of options, but you do have options. So I do think that definitely Buildcraft is definitely a good standalone mod. Um, now with thermal expansion and forestry and railcraft, it becomes an even better mod. But... It's definitely a really good mod. I'm trying to get rid of this stuff, but now I have to figure out which um, things, and I've got to create more of this, so we're probably... I'm just going to call the episode here. So, I'm probably going to wrap... Probably next episode, or um, the episode after that, we'll be um, figuring out which ones a, we need for a wheat farm. And also working on an automated or er, an auto crafting version for this thing so we can have an unlimited supply of bogarth and I'm probably gonna get started on equivalent ex not equivalent exchange um on what's that mod called um bye I cannot remember to say my life bombcraft that's it so, and also, I don't really know of any other cool stuff you can do with Ars Magica besides flight, and I kind of have that ability already. See? I have this ability. I am God. Bow down to me! I have no subjects. <laughs> Alright, well, if you like this video, click that like button. If you're not yet, um, if you're not a subscriber yet, click that subscribe button. For soon to be daily Minecraft content every single day. Come to your computer time. Because right now I don't want to get too developed and then not be able to finish this series like I do every single one. So, and hopefully soon server time. Actually, as of this date, I would like everybody who is watching this video to, um... I just have done that three times, so I'm not going to do it again. Because, well, so put 
just like I before, do the, do what I like, do the whole um, what's your favorite episode, things like that. Because come my new computer, I will be picking one person. Because just the server, he had to. I think I already explained this. He had to be between AC and his computer, so he chose his computer, which I would have done. He chose his um AC, which I would have done the same thing because he lives in California, and we all know how crazy hot California is. All right, we'll see you guys next episode. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time, and remember, keep playing the micro.